Welcome to 2022. In this first video, we're going to go over our gym routine, how you get strong fast for the new year. Enjoy! <laughs> So we've got Billy with us today. He's yeah. actually joining in. His pretty face has graced the screens. Really pretty on mine, so everyone's a little bit happier. Yay! Um, Billy's talking because he is the king of s &C. He know, actually knows what he's talking about, unlike me. He's gonna help describe why we put this gym program together, uh, what exercises, we've chosen to do, why we've chosen to do them, and some of the mistakes that we see, or he's seen when in the gym. Yeah, so we're, firstly we're, we're back in the gym now, it's New Year, so this is kind of like our second block of training in the gym. We've gone through like a strength block where we've just been lifting heavy, really focusing on just getting back into the gym, moving some weight and getting strong again. And now we're starting to turn that into some more speed some more power some more sort of dynamic and complex movement so the session that you'll see in this video is about us lifting almost maximally so we'll always have one lift which we use a deadlift because we tend to focus more on for Fenella she needs to make the focus more on by the posterior chain which is the back of her body so glutes hamstrings etc so instead of squats we use um, deadlift and we'll lift heavy, so three, like threes, twos, really, really heavy, almost as much as we can, um, as long as it's safe. And then we'll do some sort of power exercise, which you'll see we're doing like a quarter squat. So the aim of that is to move weight quickly. That's not very heavy, around 30%, just fast movements, trying to go through sort of triple extensions. There's stuff you see when you're running. When you're running, you always go through triple extensions. So we're just trying to, increase uh, the speed of movement, speed of reaction and stuff through there. And then everything else is very similar to, to our off-season strength training. So got a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, some upper body stuff, some um, retraction work, always focusing on sort of a back, lats, not very much on the front because everything we do in triathlon is all in front of us. So we try and focus on opening things up, chin ups, and then lastly, Focus on our hamstrings, uh, that's one of our biggest focuses this year is getting strong hamstrings. So we'll do lots of um, single leg hamstring work, bridges, explosive work, just making sure our hamstrings are strong. And that's basically it really. Mm. So that's why the, we've picked the exercises that we've seen and what we focus on gym at the moment. If we, so the first block we did like pure strength, so this is more like strength into power if what would we be doing after this we can do that on another video but that'll be more speed work yeah so with this is just speed strength like i just said so heavy and then moving things quickly but that'll turn into more we'll get to towards races and so we've got to dial things back so we won't be lifting too heavy we'll just be doing maintenance work doing some speed uh, in the gym just to keep movements quick so we always start with activation and mobility to start. Uh, why would you need to activate? Uh, just, just just to get warm, to make sure, make sure everything's firing in the formations, everything's firing one by one. And yeah, just make sure you're, you're ready to lift. Um, you will not overdo the mobility. People make often too many mistakes and they overdo it. Come a little bit loose. You just need to go through some dynamic movements and just make sure you're activated. And you can use some of those before running and stuff as well, which I always like to do. Just to make, yeah, like Bill said, to make sure you're actually firing correctly and that your muscles are working in the right order, and you're switching them on, less chances of injury. Last question. What are some of the biggest mistakes or things you see go wrong in the gym? Uh, I think mistake, probably not mistakes because I think they're driven by people not understanding. So I think it's more 
people not understanding why or what you should be doing as a triathlete in the gym tend to athletes or uh, people tend to think that going in the gym is going to make you big or or going in the gym is going to affect your ability to ride and run uh, during the week but it's what you do in the gym and it's not about sort of those really hard sessions where you're kind of causing fatigue muscularly we're trying to cause fatigue um neuromuscularly so we're trying to get stronger so you've got to we don't we're not lifting loads of reps you will very rarely see us do 10 12 reps unless it's a condition exercise so there'll be hardly any load involved whereas when we're doing sort of heavy stuff over body weight there'll never be really more than five reps involved most of the time three so it's more the understanding of the gym making sure that uh, we understand what you're doing when you're in the gym and that that normally breeds success then but yeah it's more that's more the, mis the biggest mistake I see and then the only other ones is probably the lack of consistency in the gym it's normally the first thing that goes by the wayside if you miss a session and gym work is probably more important than any swim bike run in terms of being able to improve you need to keep doing it um, it'll be the first thing to go not your I mean your aerobic engine will stay for mm -hmm. two three four weeks but if you'd miss a strength session you'll start to see a reversibility straight away so you need to keep keep doing the, the lifting that's it that's a gym session i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions make sure you leave it in the comments below and stay tuned to whatever's next happy 2022